Winds will be blown, especially on the west side of town, making it feel colder. So the jackets will be needed. Maybe even some of the heavy duty jackets. But you can see on our latest future track computer model, the clouds will build in here. We've had a lot of sunshine today, but that will be changing as well as a lot of that colder air begins to push to the west from the east. Uh, look at the clouds that are hanging around through lunchtime throughout the day tomorrow. If you have any outdoor activities like I have tomorrow, uh, dress warm, you know, dress in layers and be ready for the cloud cover. We're not going to see a whole lot of sunshine, maybe a few slivers break it out here and there. And then look here, once we head into late Saturday night, Sunday morning, we can't rule out a little wintry mix of some precip where you see the blues, some snow, maybe some rain, maybe a little mixed bag of some precip developing down in Hutsmith County. Then a lot of that will continue to make its way towards the north and the northwest. So don't be surprised. If you get a few raindrops, maybe see some snowflakes in here, certainly by Sunday morning. Some clouds going to hang around on Sunday. It will be chilly on Sunday as well. And then we'll start to break out with some more sunshine as we look ahead to next week. All right, let's talk about the winds. Gus right here tomorrow. Easterly winds at 30, primarily on the west side of town. So that will add to the wind chill tomorrow. That's why we say bundle up in some layers because it will be cold and feel colder. Notice as we make our way into next week, our next system looks like to pull in here on Thanksgiving Day and the winds will be switching more to the northeast at about 25 miles per hour. All right, let's jump right out to our future track model and this is as far as rainfall amounts that we could see by Sunday afternoon. This particular model not too bullish on producing a whole lot of rain and when it comes to snowfall. Well, here you go. We look at all the way through Monday morning, maybe picking up a little bit for you folks in Torneo and also out there in Sierra Blanca. Well, I was out doing some reading Paul Moreno Elementary School. This was some of our readers that we had there. A couple of our good commissioners and district clerk. I gave them the hard books. I took the easy books to read to the kids, and these are some of the kids over at the school today. Good group of kids, very attentive and uh, just loved uh, reading the books to the kids. All right, let's take a look at our forecast again. We're going to be looking at some pretty cold conditions for the overnight hours. Temperature is going to be right around 33. Here's your chance of some precips. First alert day tomorrow and then on Sunday. Look at 40s for highs, but then we climb into the 50s and then some 60s. There's just Thanksgiving Day outlook. 61 degrees right now, partly sunny. Mark. Uh, maybe in the 40s but with that wind, it'll feel yeah. an awful lot colder. It will. All right, Doppler. Thank